Saldus versus Turkey is a Grand Chamber decision. Uh, the decision of the Chamber had actually followed uh, the already established line of um, jurisprudence on, on the issue tackled uh, in Saldus, uh, which was the right of early access to, uh, to a lawyer, to legal assistance. Uh, Saldus uh, was a young 17-year-old uh, Turkish boy um, of Kurdish nationality who was um, a member of a nationalist party which uh, was allegedly had some links with the PKK. The PKK is a famous um, organization in Turkey which, was, which is still involved in an armed conflict with the Turkish state. Allegedly he was uh, taking part in a demonstration organized by this party uh, supposedly in, 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 in support of the PKK. Uh, he was arrested during this demonstration, brought to the police station, and he was not offered a legal assistance. He was questioned uh, repeatedly by different authorities, um, and already at his first interrogation by the police, he has um, admitted that he took part in, in this demonstration and he, that he was a member of that um, political, that nationalist political party. Um, then, when he was questioned again, he denied that he participated in this demonstration. However, during his trial, uh, the court had relied on his first statement made uh, to the police and said that his subsequent statements were not truthful, so he was um, in the end convicted. Uh, the case has reached uh, the, the ECHR. The ruling of the Chamber was that um, Article 6 of the European Convention of Human Rights was not violated uh, by the fact that uh, Saldus was um, interrogated in the very beginning of the proceedings without access to legal assistance. This was based um, on the fact that, um, according to ECHR, uh, Saldus has, had, um, has enjoyed the guarantees of a fair trial at the subsequent stages of the proceedings and that there was also other evidence in the case supporting his conviction. So his um, initial admission was not the only piece of evidence in the case. The Grand Chamber of uh, the ECHR has, however, disagreed with the ruling of the Chamber. Uh, what they said is that uh, the fact that uh, Saldus has made the admission and this admission has been, has been used in conviction against him as an important piece of evidence has undoubt undoubtedly um, affected his position in the criminal case. Well, the Grand Chambers effectively said that what was important is not the fact whether or not Saldus would have been convicted without uh, making this admission. Uh, the court has also carefully um, elaborated on the rationale uh, for the right of early access to a lawyer, and particularly for suspects who are uh, kept in detention or in police custody. Um, saying that it serves as a safeguard against torture and ill-treatment, but also guarantees uh, the equality of arms in the beginning of uh, the criminal proceedings when the suspect is um, in its most vulnerable position. This is uh, one judgment of the ECHR which has probably caused the most um, reaction both on the European level and among the member states. Um, and the most um, legislation or case law that have been adopted as the result of this, of this decision. But uh, there was also a lot of controversy and debate, uh, both on the European level and the national level, on how to interpret uh, the judgment and how far states should go in implementing. Uh, in implementing this decision, and to what extent can the European institutions uh, dictate or uh, determine for the member states uh, what their procedural right, what their procedural legislation should look like? 
a number of states, such as uh, France, the Netherlands, or Belgium, uh, have uh, resisted implementing Saldos uh, to the full extent or accepting or fully accepting the rationale behind this decision. And this is linked uh, mostly to the fact that this, this uh, states have um, an inquisitorial procedural tradition where um, historically uh, the right of access to legal assistance or an active role of a lawyer in the pretrial proceedings uh, have not been recognized. Uh, in the Netherlands, for example, it took over eight years after the Saldus judgment that uh, the right to of access to a lawyer also during police interrogation was recognized for all criminal suspects. And uh, still now there is certain res restrictions on the, um, on, on the role of a lawyer during inter the interrogation, so on what the lawyer can or cannot do in the course of, the sus of interrogation of a suspect. The European Court of Human Rights has also, in the early days after the Saldus judgment, um, adopted a number of uh, judgments which were um, which have added upon the findings in Saldus. Um, for example, Pistranikov versus Russia or Diana versus Turkey case. Recently, um, there's also been a setback in the. Um, line adopted by the European Court of Human Rights uh, on the issue of uh, the right of uh, early access to legal assistance. This setback was particularly uh, evident after the Ibrahim and others versus UK case. Some commentators would say that um, Ibrahim and post-Ibrahim jurisprudence um, mean that uh, they progress that was made in Salus has been uh, entirely reversed. Now, whether this is so, and what are the possible reasons for this new trend, we will discuss in the next video.